Hey YouTube, it's Anna. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a, another journal flip through for you and this is going to be journal number 69. I'm going to jump right into it. I actually put something on the cover this time. I put in, I think this is a sticker from a pack that I got from Joann's early in the spring of last year or maybe this year I can't remember but they were actually it was like a huge pack of like French themed stickers so really liked the image of that um, it kind of represented my being able to finally unpack our pod because it was coming so you'll see that later in the journal and actually being able to create my own space so that was really nice another Klimt art sticker right here on the cover and this is an insert that actually says Traveler's Notebook or Traveler's Company instead of Midori. So that was kind of cool. Kept the label packaging on here. Playing around with some washi tape and some vintage stamps. Tim Holtz flip uh, tipping. Decided to do some sketching here. Um, I had a set of microns so I was kind of playing around with that making a list of things that I wanted to get or keep out when I create my, you know, Jane Austen desk setup. And this is from a brochure from the Albrechter Graphic Masters uh, exhibit at the Seattle Art Museum. So I decided to kind of split that image and make it into just a spread. Queen Elizabeth postcards, I added that as some journaling and did some sketching here. So really into sketching this month, I don't know. That was from a book image that I saw. I decided to sketch that quick. St. Sebastian Attended by St. Irene, in case you're wondering, de la Tour. There was a really fun little graph saying how your lipstick, like how it appeared, describes what your personality is. Um, Mine is just the diagonal, so it's I'm original and well-balanced, apparently. So I took my red pen and just kind of colored it in to kind of make it pop. And this is a quick sketch of the Tower of London. I was really missing England, so you'll see quite a few images. A really terrible sketch of a building in Bath bath again. I actually like this one. This one turned out pretty okay. And I had a lot of horizontal art stickers that I wasn't using because I put the vertical ones portrait style in the covers. So I decided to kind of start sticking the vertical or the horizontal ones in my journals and use those up. Tim Holtz stain. This is my favorite Tim Holtz stain. It's the shaded lilac I believe. And some more Tim Holtz ephemera, vintage stamps. I'm not trying to use up this washi, so you'll see that. Another terrible sketch. But you know what? That's okay. I mean, you're not going to get, you're not going to become a talented sketcher if you don't practice, so got to keep practicing. It was our four year anniversary, my wedding anniversary. So my husband surprised me with some uh, flowers. And so that was the card to the flowers. And I did an extra clear flip through uh, tip in here with, um, I think it was from a Project Life kit. And I decided to terribly sketch the roses that were sitting on my chair. So that was really cool. My first mustache stationery box. Uh, it took a long time to get to me and I really wasn't happy with the theme because I kind of caught it in the summertime and summer is not my favorite season. So I in the end decided to unsubscribe. So this September is going to be my last box but I talked about my first mustache stationery box and it, I did get a Lamy fountain pen at the same time too. Um, that was a separate order that I put myself. And it came with blue ink, which I wasn't crazy with because as you can see, I like bold black ink to write with. And I'm not generally a person who likes blue ink, 
but not only was it blue ink but it was like this very light blue ink that I didn't like and it really was sensitive to oils on your hands so if you touch the page even briefly that ink would just not write very well or wouldn't catch to the paper and so you can see it's dark here and then it just kind of lightens and it kind of skips too so if you haven't written for like a minute you put it down for a, a moment and then you'd started writing it would just become this dark print that all of a sudden would just lighten as you write so as you can see I was really trying to use it up I was at Starbucks this was the day that we were waiting for our pod to come and so I decided to sketch the two ladies that were sitting there just talking so I've never seen the pod actually transfer their pods like how they actually did it but they actually have a mechanism that detaches from the back of the truck and it just the pod itself is kind of floating in the middle by suspension and they adjust it by this kind of machine that lady was talented because we were in a tight spot we only had one parking spot and she got it in there without scratching any other car that was pretty awesome so I decided to sketch and talk about that um, and I was doing that while she was doing that outside. This is a bar of chocolate. I really liked the packaging, which is pretty much the only reason why I bought it. And thankfully it was good chocolate. And things got busy. So I was kind of just recapping the weekend because we were unpacking. I took an Instax photo of my husband. She was setting up TV and we haven't had TV in a long time. And so back to work on this day. I had some Ernest Hemingway Highland Select Tea, so I decided to try that. That is the uh, tag that was on our pod. So end of an era. Decided to keep that mustache stationery brochure that came with my box. Lots of writing. You can tell I was just very busy, so really wasn't focused on decorating. And here I go into unpacking my things and then really wanting to just scrapbook a lot of the th random papers that I hoard. <laughs> I hoard paper. Um, so just images of things that I liked in the catalog, some outfit ideas. This woman is gorgeous. This, this model right here, I like had to put her in because not only was she wearing like a cute outfit, but like she was just gorgeous. So put her in. Lisa Frank stickers, do you guys remember those? Had some, so I decided to stick it in. I got a date stamp, so I decided to keep the packaging here. Um, we unpacked a uh, pillow cover that we had gotten from the Tate Modern um, in England, and so I kept the tag. Sticker flakes, I took all the packaging out so I can keep them in a tin. And I decided to talk about all my fall favorites, even though clearly it wasn't fall, but I was really feeling it because fall is my favorite season. More writing, back to my black pen, thank God. <laughs> I just did not like that blue ink, but I just felt like it was a waste if I didn't use it up. Went to the tavern hall for dinner. And some just some things that I had kept from our life in Milwaukee, so I decided to scrapbook those. These were the paint uh, colors that we had used to paint certain rooms in our old house. And um, decided to keep those. So this was the craft room, the guest room, touch-up paint for some of the white walls in our house. And this was the dining room. And this was a magazine that we had brought back from our honeymoon in England. A long time ago and we had kept the magazine but I decided to throw it out and just kind of cut up the cover because I liked it more writing not too exciting of a flip through guys so I apologize for that but oh we did go to Bainbridge Island this day to what did we do? Oh I, can't, oh, I think this was our first time going. This was our first time going, so we went to the Blackbird uh, Bakery, and we were meeting 
Brian's cousin and her parents and her husband and their new baby. And, oh wait, no, this is our second time. Never mind. I apologize. This is our second time going because we wanted to go to the Salt House Mercantile to get the um, American-made crock bowls. We've got a whole big set of them. And, oh, here's a fun prompt for you guys. If you guys can't think of anything to journal about, I thought of a great one. Um, it was, oh, this was just because we had seen a the newest Jason Statham movie, which was The Mechanic 2. I think that's what it was. And so I thought... Okay, what if you were in an action movie yourself, right? And you were the assassin slash spy slash super intelligent person. Who would be your main agency's contact? And this could be any celebrity that you want to choose or any cool, you know, famous person. Who's the person that you would sleep with? The person who is your right hand or... You know, the person that gives direction in your ear, like Melissa McCarthy and Spy, to um, Jude Law. Uh, who's your tech guy? Who's your arch nemesis slash enemy? Who is your wisdom? So the person that you go to for advice in the movie. And then who is your payoff? The person that you have to bribe, who's slightly eccentric, and may or may not help you. And so I posed that question to my husband. So I put in my own answers of all the celebrities that would fit those roles if I were to make that movie. And then who would be my husband's celebrity picks. And that ended up being a really fun conversation while we were at the cafe. Because we had some time to kill. None of the shops were open at Bainbridge Island. We'd gotten there really early. And so we just kind of sat there and contemplating our celebrity spy movie options. We went to Church Mounts because I wanted to grab a Blackwing Racer refills pack and a sharpener and ran into some shops so I decided to talk about that. We went to the Museum of Art there and that's kind of it. Some photos of a friend from a wedding a long time ago. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I'd be interested to know what your guys' action movie celebrity picks would be. Oh, you guys want to hear, hear mine? I'll, I'll tell you. I don't care. Um, okay, so my agency's main contact, my boss, would be Mil Bill Nighy. Um, oh, wait, no. This is my husband's. Who's mine? My main contact would be Alan Rickman. Uh, the guy I would sleep with would be Army Hammer. I believe that's his name. My partner, who I have a sarcastic relationship with, would be Jason Statham. My tech guy would be Simon Pegg. My wisdom would be my grandmother in, my, in this movie, and that would be Maggie Smith. She would be an undercover dowager duchess. That would be the plot line. Uh, my nemesis would be Christopher Waltz, or Christoph Waltz, sorry. And the payoff, so the guy that I have to bribe with like amnesty or something like that, would be John Malkovich. So it's a silly game, but it's a fun journal prompt, and I've not heard any journal prompts like that. So it's pretty much, if you could cast your favorite celebrities in one movie, who would it be? That's basically it. So let me know what your picks are because that would be really fun to see what people choose. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, I really appreciate it and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!